Rob Shapiro from Technique Peak. Now we're going to look at how to, when do we know to release a muscle or kind of find another muscle to release. And I'll explain that. So sometimes we, we palpate a muscle and it's really, really tight. And we say, oh, it's tight. Let me just stretch it. So that would be okay if you, if you test out a muscle and you go in and you go, hmm, let's see, iliacus. And I test that muscle, hold it there, and it's strong. But then I palpate it with my key, it's not going to look me. And we palpate it, it's really, really tight. <laughs> right, so I get into that. That would be okay to release. Let me show you a different example, maybe not. So if I go into Mike and I go, here's his belly button. I go medial next to rectus. I dive down a little bit. And he's not going to like this either. Nobody likes it in here, but his psoas is also really tight. There it is. It's tight. Then I say, hmm, is it worth releasing? So if I go do a muscle test, which is the muscle test we did be, we've done in the past, is this and this. Hold your leg out there. As soon as I put it up, Mike is like, I don't know what to do. Right, it's weak. So what I would say, it's probably not worth it. Even though it's tight, it's not worth releasing because it's maybe holding for something else. So what could it be holding for? So we can do a technique called therapeutic lo localization. We can figure out what is another muscle that could usually overwork for that other muscle that's trying to hold on for dear life. And a lot of times it, it is iliacus. So we can come in there and I can say, Mike, here's your, here's your iliacus. You're just going to touch. And it's weird. It's, it's therapeutic localization. He's not going deep but he's just decreasing the tone temporarily. Mike holds that spot. I'm gonna retest this muscle, hold your leg up there. And all of a sudden, his leg got strong. Reason is I, I gave him a little bit of input to that iliacus, decreased the tone. And now the iliacus and the psoas are now equal. They're, they're equally toned. So I know for Mike, what I have to do, the treatment would be, he's not gonna like me. We're gonna go into the iliacus. So I could oscillate. I could take his leg up like that, both legs up. And I could just have him go back and forth. I could hold that spot. So the whole time I'm pushing on that spot, that's option number one. Option number two is I could actually have him, we had something to slide, but slide your leg down. You could do that, that's fine. You could do that too. So I'm gonna hold that and you're gonna slide your leg down. Good, and come back up. And hold it, hold it right there, slide, come back up. So I can do a bunch of repetitions of that. And then if I did a good job, come back down, I would go back to the muscle that initially tested that week, and we'll see what happens. So we go here and here. We release the overactive iliacus, and hold your leg like that, and hold. And now Mike is able to hold that. Okay, the key to that, it's great that it happened now, but the key is now I have to retest it to make sure that it's not we, we released enough and that pattern is released. So I can go back and say, okay, what if I have you do, bring your knee towards that spot, Iliacus, hold your leg up. So as. Iliacus, so as. And we did a good job because he's able to hold it again. They're not reactive to each other, it's called. So that's a really good way of looking at things. So just because it's tight doesn't mean just release it. Say, hmm, it's tight. Is it tight and strong? Okay to release. Tight and weak, I'm going to start to find. Is it another antagonist or a synergist? Start looking around. You'll see after a while there's certain patterns. I knew that iliacus and psoas tend to be have issues together. Iliacus and glutes tend to be opposite each other. Or glute medius and piriformis or internal and external rotators, they seem to pair up. But those are good starts. Try that. See how you do with it. It's Rob Shapiro from Technique Peak.